so I just finished doing my hair um and my hair's been hurting a lot I'm just really ready to have her so I'm gonna drink this castor oil and chase it with some orange juice and see if I go into labor hopefully I do okay so here's the castor oil And then here's my orange juice. <sighs> I'm really, really sleepy, and my hips is hurting. And I really, 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 I pray this works because I don't know. I just hope it works. Okay, so it is 11:48. Got my tablespoon. I'm going to take two tablespoons and then drink the orange juice and see what happens. So nasty. <laughs> it definitely have a nasty taste, but no, you ain't going. It's not too bad. It's like I lied. Okay, so now that I am done, now that I've taken it, this is how big she is. I am 38 weeks. I'm about to be 39 weeks, but now that I've taken it, I am going to clean up the house, just clean up, spray some stuff down, and basically, I'll keep y'all updated. So, yeah, I took it at 11.48, I want to say, and I'm just see what happens. Hopefully, I'm praying that it just works because I'm just so ready to have her. I really wanted my mom to be here, but they keep counting her plane tickets, and I don't think I have enough energy to wait and wait. So, yeah, I'm going to keep y'all updated on what happens and if it works or not. So... It's 2.10 a.m. and I'm constipated, I feel like, and I feel like she's balled up on my stomach, like, been sitting on toilet for a good 20 minutes, but I keep burping a lot, but I really feel constipated. I don't know if this, if I'm supposed to feel constipated or what, but I don't know. It's 4.11. And I got all the way up out the bed because I've had a cramp. I had cramps for like an hour now, and they're back to back. So I'm trying to walk it off. And I called the hospital, and they told me to drink water and take Tylenol and wait another hour. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I have a cramp right now. I should have took this castor oil. I shouldn't have took it. I knew. I knew. I knew in my mind I shouldn't have took it. Because now I can't go to sleep. I haven't pooped or anything. Like, I felt constipated at first. <sighs> I look crazy. Hmm. Now my stomach is tight and stiff. feel like a rock. I'm so aggravated and sleepy. <sighs> but if I were to go by and I'm still having cramps, then... I'll be headed to the hospital, so I'm going to keep y'all updated. Oh, 
Hi, Nanda. Hi. Can I have a baby? I guess. Uh, you have a visitor out there? Wait. Uh, yes. Upset because he was he, her dad. He was able to be in the delivery part when I had her, but then he had to go. He just had to go home, and we got to be at the hospital by ourselves for twenty four to forty eight hours due to this coronavirus stuff, which really sucks. And I cried because it's my first baby. This is our first baby. Like why he got to go home? Like, but it's all good. It's whatever. So yeah, I did it, y'all. The castor will actually work. It worked it within hours. Like it took. Wait. It took like five hours for it to kick in, and then it was on from there. So I had her natural. I wasn't able to get an epidural because as soon as I came in, I was ready to push, and then I ripped. So I had to get stitches. But. Yep. <laughs> She's here, and I'm so happy. I'm so, so happy, like, been waiting on this day, but, yeah. So, that's it. I'm I'm still upset, though, due to this coronavirus stuff. I hate this coronavirus. I can't wait till it's over with. Because now we alone. But, yeah, man. So, if anybody was wondering, I'm, I'm 38 weeks. Well, I was. I'm 38 weeks, and three more days, I was going to be 39 weeks. And I took the castor oil and I had her. So, the castor oil does work. It does work. It do work, I guess. 